Hey guys, welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. Well guys, it's early in the morning. Not as early as I want it to be. Kind of getting out here late, just, just saying. But i got an issue going on with my tomatoes and I finally think I figured out what is the problem. So let's go take a look at the tomatoes. So here is a variety of tomatoes. And these are celebrities. Here's another problem that popped up yesterday after the rain and the tomatoes go all the way down to the end of the row and there's some over here. Now I thought I was dealing with blossom end rot. Uh, usually blossom end rot will work itself out but I have lost like a bushel of tomatoes thinking this would work itself out. You see into the row there that's what I'm dealing with. So I thought you know, with blossom end rot, you, you take the fruit off and you're going to throw it, take it off the, throw it down, throw it, take it away from the plant. But yesterday, I made a discovery because I figured that blossom end rot would just work itself out. Now, I have did a pH test. I have put calcium nitrate. I have took calcium, two tablespoons of calcium, and um, mixed it in a gallon of water, sprayed it on the plants. The plants look great. Besides that one that just popped up yesterday. The plants so far look great, but the problem is I started having a problem when my water softener bursted after the water softener guy should have told me let's not fix this and it burst three days later and um, the garden got so um, saturated, the soil got so saturated that it took a week for it to dry up. Crazy. So um, and plus then we had rain on top of that. So down here, you'll see one of the tomatoes I threw off of the plant yesterday, and you'll see that fungus. That was my sign. I have not seen any signs except a little bruising around the tomatoes. And uh, what made me think it was blossom in rot, step over the squash here, was, and I come out here every day and I'm finding a problem, is that I will see that. It, most of the time it's on the side, but you see that it's like a dark brown bruising that brings a circular motion or shape um, on the tomatoes I can come out here tomatoes look fine and then come out four hours later and see a spot come out a little bit later and there will be um, the tomato would just be just bigger so with blossom in rock you usually take it off but once I discover, I take it off the plant. Once I discovered that that fungus, I was like, "Oh my goodness!" So uh, you see that right there? I will throw it off the plant, but it just continues to grow. So I'm I'm dealing with a fungus. Uh, it, I'm dealing with the fungus on these plants. So I have I did everything I've did. I put Epsom salt. I have um, you name it. The only thing I didn't do to begin with, because I didn't get to it, is put pine straw around these plants, which is my plant. But I usually don't do that. Sometimes if I have extra pine straw, I'll do that. These are celebrities right here. These are uh, big boys right here. And there's celebrities at the end. But the thing of it is, my smaller tomatoes, little cherry tomatoes types, are doing fine. I don't have a problem with them so far. Look, see what I'm talking about? Thought it was blossom end rot. It's not blossom end rot. It's buckeye um, uh, disease. Is what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a fungus. So um, let's take a look out down here. Get down here. Just, everything's growing really nice. So here are these little cherry tomatoes. And they're doing, I, have, I don't have a problem with them. Celebrities are down there. Every day I come out here and I find this problem. And it's degrading when these plants are full of tomatoes. Just when they're, they're green, I haven't had any turn red, but because this gets on them. And the problem is my soil is diseased because of all the, the water that came in the garden. And uh, then we got the rain. So now I have this fungus into my soil and I've been throwing those down to the ground, taking disease, putting it right back in to the soil. 
So uh, this is kind of it's, it's caused by spoils, and it's it's like a water mole or a moles. It's a pathogen. It's a type of a disease that is come from a contaminated soil that comes in contact with the plant. Now these plants, because we was gonna have a windstorm, I planted them deeper. I, as you can see, I've got my leaves off the bottom of them. They've been off the ground. What used to call the tomatoes are on the ground. There's another one, uh, tomato right there that's starting. Every day I come out here, but uh, the, you know, the, I planted them deeper and uh, what usually causes this dirt will get pop up onto the um, leaves or onto the, to the fruit, the tomato, and it will cause a problem. So the contaminated soil um, splashes up onto the fruit by rain or by overhead gen uh, um, irrigation uh, and prolonged warm, wet weather, which is what we've had here onto the east coast. So the tomatoes will, um, they'll stay firm, but they'll begin to rot. And it's just heartbreaking to know you got beautiful tomatoes full of tomatoes and already lost a bushel, I'm thinking it's gonna work itself out. These plants are loaded down with blooms, loaded down with tomatoes. And I uh, just discovered this yesterday, so I'm hoping it'll help someone because I asked somebody else, they didn't know, I never dealt with this, never heard of this, never seen this. And uh, I have found a new discovery. So Buckeye Rod is brown and it's oily looking puts out a shine, it continues to expand onto the tomato, it produces a white cotton um, uh, disease, a pathage form on, forms onto the, um, the tomato. To manage this problem, if I did my research, is have well <clears throat> drained soil and to remove the discarded tomatoes from the plant, but also from the soil. So um, you need to rotate out the crop as you can see all these plants are big i have rotated these tomatoes these tomatoes have never been on this side of the garden before so i didn't know how they was going to do but this soil over here is a little bit more moist um it's a little bit more slopey and so you also use a stake or cage your plants as you can tell these have been caged up with string um off the ground use mulch which i had never got around to uh, but I didn't know that was a problem because I haven't really seen any dirt on my tomatoes. Uh, yeah. So, um, also, um, don't throw the tomatoes to the ground. Or don't throw them into the compost. Now, I didn't know that. Never even heard of this disease. Uh, apply fungicide, but you got to read the label and um, see what the label says before you put it onto your plant. Do not put it on the plant in the sun. Wait to the noon day because it could burn your uh, plants so just be sure to read the label on the plant um, how to identify this is that you will see a, a marking of a, like a, a bullseye with dark light brown rings that are smooth and shiny so it's not blossom in rot and another way to identify your disease is that look at your plants if they're looking beautiful luscious green then it's probably something else so here down here more problems and it's, it's heartbreaking these plants are loaded with tomatoes you would think it's blossom end rot but what thing it was triggering me is like it would be on the sides not as much as on the bottom but it would be on the sides and just get bigger and it would the tomato would stay good firm but and this one right here will throw you off because it is on the bottom. So it's spread through the wind, it's spread through the rain, which we've had lots of rain and water, which my garden got saturated with that water softer bursting. But Buckeye Rot is found favored by warm, wet weather, which we've had a lot of warm, wet weather. So we've had excessive rain so if you have excessive rain, um, irrigation um, promotes it, overhead irrigation promotes it. I've never had a problem, never seen this, never heard anybody say anything about this. Uh, but if you, you know, it causes a, uh, a, a concern, it causes disease. 
into your plants. So this plant right here just started wilting. Beautiful plant. It just started wilting. I'm thinking it's verticillium. Wilt is caused by severe sore soil. You know, your ground um, pathogens um, into the uh, into the, the the ground or the plant. When, you know, of course, if it's in the ground, it's going to be getting into the plant. Um, it's present into the tomatoes that um, it blocks the vascular. Um, we call it vascular uh, the, into the stems it, it blocks the flow the vascular tissues in the plant the plant and causes the stems to wilt so I'm gonna be watching my plants because that's not what I wanted to see it came out here just wilted beautiful plant this is a celebrity got tomatoes on the other side you know uh, full of tomatoes so guys I just want to share this with you just want to share this with you, um, if, you know, because I've been sitting here dealing with this for a couple weeks, at maybe three, you know, waiting for these tomatoes to turn red, get right there, and and now they're actually starting smaller. So uh, if this can help you, please give me a thumbs up, share, like, uh, subscribe, you know, share this with somebody else. I had never heard of this before. But when you lose a bushel of tomatoes, and these plants are loaded down with tomatoes, so what am I going to do? Well, probably try some fung fungicide spray. We've got the, the label. And um, put some straw down. You know, that's pretty much all I can do. You, I can't take the plants up. I mean, I can take plants up. I mean, uh, I'm just going to see how it goes. I'm going to try some fungicide, put some straw down, and um, wish for the best. But just want to share this with you so that you will know um, you would know what is going on with your tomatoes if you're facing this not blossom end rot really thought that was blossom end rot put calcium nitrate two tablespoons of, of, of calcium or nitrate into a gallon of water spray the plant uh, check the pH put lime down put fast activating lime put epsom salt I mean I, you name it I did it to these plants the plants look awesome <clears throat> the pH is perfect. So what is it? A disease into my soul. Okay guys, gotta get out here, pick these string beans before it gets too hot, and uh, check the vegetables because my garden is doing awesome. Got rattlesnake beans over here, different varieties of pepper plants down here, different varieties of squash over here, small wonder squash, straight neck squash, gold pot squash, uh, Oh gosh, uh, pavilion squash, okra. You see how close these uh, rows are? Uh, sweet potatoes. These are more sweet potatoes. Uh, got four bushels of potatoes off of that one row right there. Tomato down here. This is two rows of tomatoes with squash mixed in at the very end. This is okra. I uh, got a bushel of carrots off of the four by eight raised bed. Uh, this it's been harvest here onto the homestead. Mm -hmm.